welcome you guys to our team call. Thank you all for showing it. We have 85 people on right now. That is so great. I need to post a reminder every single week because this is awesome. I love seeing all you guys. I asked for greater than 50 people and I have, oh, 87 now. So we made our goal. That's awesome. So excited. So I have a super special guest tonight. I love this girl. She, it, we talk often. <laughs> She's becoming one of my really good friends. Um, Melissa Nager is talking tonight about time management and organization, which is something that I really struggle with. So I'm really happy to hear her tonight. Um, she is a stay-at-home mom. She homeschools her autistic son, who is 13 years old. Um, uh, she she has a super hard time working outside of the house, and she was about to have to go back to work, just like a lot of us were. So she basically had her back against the wall and had to make this work, um, just like a lot of us. Um, uh, she went master seller in three months. She's building a good-sized team, and um, she is awesome, and I'm excited to hear all of your tips. So unmute yourself, girlfriend, because go for it. All right. I'm unmuted. <laughs> so you guys, it's kind of funny because I didn't expect there to be this many people. So I am a little bit nervous only oh because God, we have 93 oh. people on now. Melissa. <laughs> right. Now I'm scared. No, I'm just kidding. I um, I just, um, I thought time management was a really good thing to talk about because I know with my team, uh, especially it's been something that we've had a lot of struggle with um, a lot of people that are on the team are working full time um, and they're doing this, you know, only certain hours of the day and um, you know, don't have their weekends free um, and, and everything else, um, which I can kind of relate to not necessarily working out of the house, but because I homeschool my son um, as Sherry said, and he has special needs, I really have to be careful about my time. Um, my time is precious. Um, with my family, obviously, for those reasons and many others, but my time um, with him, especially with homeschool, has to be my priority. Uh, whether it's business, whether it's anything, that always comes second to my son's education. Um, so with that being said, it, it was a little hard for me to be able to work out of the home. It always has been. Um, you know, he's 13. Obviously, this is not a new issue. Um, so it's always been a hard thing for me, and it's never worked out for me. So when I got involved in network marketing, it was like, oh, my gosh, I found something I can do, and I can be home, and I can take him with me. And it was, like, awesome. It was completely awesome for me. Um, and I kind of just fell into it. I really didn't plan on being a network marketer. I was interested in the fitness aspect of my last business and it ended up where I ended up finding that I was actually a pretty decent leader. <laughs> so I was like, Hey, maybe I can do something with this. So I kind of like, um, did that and I started to struggle, uh, be, like everybody else did in, in that industry. And uh, I was actually looking at having to face the reality that I might have to leave my son who's now in homeschool and, put him in back into regular school, which holy moly, talk about scary. <laughs> might have to right in the middle of like middle school, I might have to put him back in school and find a job again. It was like a nightmare to me. It was like my worst case scenario. So I was super ecstatic when a good friend of mine who's on this call <laughs> said, Hey, guess what? I need to call you and tell you about something. So I was like, actually, the same week I found out about this, I was researching wine clubs. Tell me that's not crazy, right? Like, fate. I said, there's got to be something to this. I was like, hey, I should join a wine club. My little thing with wine, I'm getting more into it. I should do that. So when she called, I was like, oh, my God, this is like a sign. So with that, just kind of as my background, I'll kind of tell you how I like to handle my time management. I do not claim to be an expert in this. Uh, trust me, on any given day, you'll find me ready to pull all my hairs on my head. Um, you know, and I never get as much done as I want to. That's kind of like a struggle always. But at least with this kind of a system that I have in place, I can get the most important money-making activities done versus busy work. Um, and that's important to understand because a lot of people claim they're busy, 
but are you actually doing money making or uh, investment type activities versus being busy? That's something you really have to take a good look at. Um, and that's really hard sometimes unless you're really self reflective and you really, it's hard for people to self analyze. So you really have to self analyze and be okay with the fact that you might not be doing what you're supposed to be doing. Um, that was something I wasn't good at in the beginning. So I, I've gotten better with that over time. So um, I have little notes here, so I don't forget anything. But there's there's actually like four areas, and I'll get into that in a minute. There, there's in a minute there's four main areas of my time management. Um, basically, with any kind of a network marketing business, there's kind of like four areas. And um, before I say what those are, I have like three basic tips, which are they may not sound like a time management or an organizational issue. But for me, if I didn't do these three things, everything I did as far as time management and organization would be almost like a waste of time because there's three things you need to make sure you're doing as well as time management. Um, you have to keep in the loop. That's like number one. Keep in the loop. Um, check the messages in the group daily. That's got to be written in your daily plan, whatever the heck time of the day. It can be at midnight, whatever when you get off of work, whatever. But you need to make sure you're checking in there at least once, spend 30 minutes, an hour, something scrolling through and seeing what's happening, what's been talked about, any updates. Um, the people that do the best in this type of business and in my last business as well are the people that know what's going on, the people that are plugged in, and the people that are in the loop. Um, there's always new information, especially because our business is a newer company. Um, this is a newer opportunity. You need to make sure because things are always changing that you know what's going on. Um, number two is attend these Zoom calls. Um, even if you do not whatsoever need to know what this subject might be about of our Zoom call this week or last week or whatever, um, I, am, I am one that I feel that if you're a leader, you need to show up. If you're a leader, part of being a leader is leading by example, and your people have no reason to show up if you're not showing up. So that's huge for me. That's huge. Like, I don't care if you don't feel like it, if you have a headache, put your video on black screen, um, you know, mute your stuff, whatever you got to do, but be there. Make sure your name is in this Zoom call recording because it's important as a leader. I know it doesn't always seem like it's the biggest, most important thing, but it's super important to show up. Um, oh, my last one. <laughs> you get some sort of a system to stay organized. Whether, um, and by system, I mean something like, I use Evernote, which is like a complete lifesaver for me. Um, every single time you spend that time at night scrolling through the message boards or looking and seeing what's happening, um, Make sure there could be something very important in there that you might not think you're going to need right now. But if it's something that looks like a really well educated, typed up script or something that you think you're going to want to use later, copy it. Copy every single thing. It's just a text note in there. It's not going to take up a bunch of space on your computer or anything crazy. Save everything. I am like a virtual hoarder. Seriously, I have like every script, <laughs> every time somebody posts something, I paste it back up there or I tag or I'm like a mega nerd with that stuff. So do save everything. It's there's, you're better to have it later and safe than sorry. <laughs> and so, um, you know, you might need it in the future. Like I said, it'll help a ton. I promise. Um, oh, I guess there was four tips. <laughs> I lied. So my fourth tip is take time to be prepared. Be like a good Girl Scout and a good Boy Scout. <laughs> um, like with this Zoom call, this is a subject you might need help in. There might be others that you're not, but if you are in need of time management help, be here on time and take notes. Make sure you have a notepad if that's your modem of virtual order. <laughs> I like that too. So um, make sure you take your notes. Um, whether it's, you know, like I said, I use Evernote. So a lot of times I'll have my little Evernote screen separate or I'll have it on my phone or, I'll, you know, I'm, a lot of times I'm double electronic, uh, double fisted electronically. Is that correct? I don't know if that's the correct term, but <laughs> I just made it up. 
But um, so make sure that you're, you know, taking notes if it's something that you need some help on or it's something you might need to reflect on later. And even if it's not something that you might need to reflect on later, taking these notes and just reviewing these Zooms later can really help someone in your team that's struggling later. So don't always make it just about you. Um, if someone needs help, they might need it too. Okay, so now here's my four areas of time management. I told you I'd get to it. Okay, so these are the four four things that are the prior, most important priorities for me and what I suggest for most people. These are the things that need the most attention in your business. Um, and it doesn't matter necessarily how much time you're spending on these four things as long as these four things are incorporated into your priority schedule. Your I guess a better way to say that is these four things are the most important that you need to make sure are penciled into your calendar. So the first one is money making activities. That should be your number one priority. Number one over and above all others. Um, don't let other distracting things like on Facebook and um, you know, I don't know, just text conversation. I mean, you could sit there all day and text conversation back and forth to somebody. And that's not going to get you anywhere. That is not going to get you anywhere. Um, adding volume and adding to your team is what's going to help you. Uh, so those should be two of the top priorities. Um, meetings, invites, follow-ups, prospecting. Those all kind of fall into that same category. Um, getting busy. Uh, like with silly, distracting, whatever kinds of things that are going on in your life or whatever, if this is not a priority, you will see this part of your business slide. This is going to be your first part of your business that slides when you get busy and distracted. It's going to be your main priority that you want to make sure you allot time for. Book time slots in your calendar for this and make this sacred time. No other busy work, just this. This needs to have a little window all by itself. And I mean, it's, of course, it's up to you. It's your own business. You're your own CEO. You can do as much of this as you want, but this should be your main focus. Then number two I have is team support activities. Um, Trey, Trey's a scam. I'm, I'm seeing the fandom going on. But anyways, um, the team support activities is... Um, Things like uh, recognition, um, training calls, opportunity calls, three-way closing calls. Um, you should be doing those things as a number two priority. Um, this can be, um, this. I have to warn you about this particular activity. This can be suck you, drain you, dry time if you let it. This is where you want to make sure that you're not devoting any more than 30 to 40% of your time that you have available to this because people will take up all your time that you offer. If you offer more time, it's going to get sucked up by other people. Um, I do recognition. Um, I do a partner of the week. So that's kind of like my one time a week that I um, go into my team, my little group team, and I do partner of the week and I make the banner at the top of our group, the partner of the week, you know, whoever, did the most in their business that week. That's what I do. Um, make sure you have a clear understanding and allotted time for team support. Don't let it drain you. Um, and invest with only the committed people. If they do the work, then you can help them. If they're people that, and Trey said this actually this week on one of his um, morning things that, we, that you do, and it, it was all about the negative people. Um, if you have people that are asking you for help and you've given them time and they're not acting on that support or they're not, you know, taking the initiative themselves, then do not put extra time into those people. Um, number three, admin busy work. Um, this is just like stuff to keep going, you know, like the stuff that keeps your business going. Uh, emails, flyers, travel, taxes, bookkeeping, errands, supplies. There's a whole lot of busy stuff. <laughs> as you grow, this is what you need to first, as a step three in these four steps um, to time management, this is what you need to start delegating first. This is the, these are the things that you should start delegating first. Um, no more than 15% of your time should be spent on this. 
This is all the extra stuff. Um, and this should be the first, I mean, hey, when I'm a millionaire, I'm going to have an assistant, but <laughs> not right now. So once, you know, you become successful enough, this is where you should be hiring an assistant to do these things for you and stuff like that. Uh, this is going to help you uh, avoid burnout. Um, all these things, a lot of things that um, pull you aside from these specific activities are the things that are going to burn you out and drain you. And you're going to get feel like you're so burned out, but you're wasting so much time on the things that don't need to be prioritized. Uh, let's see. Oh, you can hire your kids and your spouse too. I forgot. I put that in there. <laughs> I plan on that. Um, so the last thing, um, that's one of the four things, um, is sharpening skills. Um, you know, learning, um, new skill sets, uh, new personal development. Um, this, it can be any of those kind of things. Um, you know, conferences, um, industry events, things like that. Um, sharpening skills can be traveling and things like that. Mind, you know, mindset meetings, things like that um events videos so that's the that's the fourth thing that i think um that's going to help you grow and keep your mindset in check obviously um it's a good idea um what i like to do when i first started implementing this four part system um is i wrote down these four categories like i wrote down so i'll go over them one more time money making activities team support activities admin busy work and sharpening skills. So I write down those four things, you know, just like with a little header and I just draw a line underneath and I would fill in the sections, each of them, what I'm doing in those areas of business. And then I would write down and set a priority, you know, on what should be in obviously priority money making activities should be priority one. So I would write that down in my planner and a lot a specific time for that every day. And then I would do it to the next category, to the next category, to the next category. So that's kind of how I set up my system of time management, um, which also in turn keeps me organized. <laughs> See how that works. So um, with between Evernote and keeping this kind of a system going for me and my business, I've managed to get my business up and running. I've started to build a team. Um, I did do a lot in the beginning. I had a goal. Um, to I started in November. I had a goal to hit master seller. I had a surgery planned March 3rd uh, from a back. So I was on a timeline and I said, I have to make this happen and start my team before then. And I have to set out a plan on how I'm going to do that. And by following this system, I put all the right uh, energy and time into the right activity. So that is my wisdom for you. <laughs> That is so awesome, Melissa. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah. Now, you sponsored Melissa. Do you want to unmute yourself and say anything? <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> where's Walter? Okay. Can you where's hear me Walter? now? Yeah. First of all, where's Walter? <laughs> I gotta see Walter. <laughs> yes, son of a gun. <laughs> Walter's a jackass. <laughs> he got his hair done today, so he's, he's he's really tuckered out right now. Thank God. Oh my God, we love Walter because. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but anyways, this is you... my example of attraction marketing because Danielle <laughs> posts, um, you know, videos and <clears throat> things that her dog does that's so naughty, and I just love it. I laugh my ass off every time I read it. Love it. I love Walter. <laughs> well, I'm glad you do. And it's crazy because people, like, he really drives me nuts. And he caused so much damage. If you saw I got into a car the other day and freaking dog. Oh, my so, God. Whatever. But, um, Melissa. Oh, my gosh, girl. I am, I am so proud of her. I love, you know, we've been together, you know, with our other company. We've been together for quite some time, and Melissa has always been that one that, you know, if I, if I ask her, you know, she's like Miss In Information Central. She's got it, and it, 
And I don't know if any of you, like if she asks something or if someone asks something in Wine Warriors, I mean, boom, she is on it. She's on it. Yeah. She's a multitasking badass. And so um, I am so, Melissa, girl, I am so proud of you. I'm so excited for you, for, for you coming on here and sharing all this knowledge with everybody because, oh my gosh, and I can't see anything right now. Can anybody see? Girl, I am so excited for you. You did amazing. And, you know, I remember back in the day, our team calls, you know, that I would do weekly and how small, how much more, how much smaller of a platform you had before. And now it's just like, boom. And I'm like, there she is. Look at her. Watch her shine. Yeah, I'm so excited, girl. I'm so flipping excited. You did amazing. Thank you, mentor from the start. <laughs> I love you. Oh, I'm so sad you're not coming to Detroit. Oh, girl. Oh. Mm. I know. I'm trying not to rub it in. So. <laughs> well, you never know. If it, you never know. What? Don't we, count it out. Don't what? count me out yet. We even, we <laughs> even rented a limo so we could get some footage. Oh, <laughs> we're doing it up. We are shooting some promo, girl. I'm, I'm sick about that. Okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. First no, it's okay. I got I got to like give a shout out to Regina who is just working out on our freaking team call. Like that is so amazing. I love <laughs> that. Like props to you. Look at how red faced she is. She was like in the Sorry, I just got work. Like, you know, jumps and like, you know, whatever. Hey. So that was great. <laughs> hey Sherry. She, front she, shirt, she was back like, shirt. working out. Yeah. That's what's wow. called multitasking. Hey, hey Sherry, Sherry, I got a videographer for, for the event. Oh my nice. God, get the yeah. out. Like, He's I'm hooking up I, DJ I, I, We gotta make another video. Yes, Victor, I'm so excited. Like, and, and I'm working on a DJ too. I hooked, I paired up with the right dude, right? I might have to get my hair done <laughs> for this event. <laughs> Me too, I'm working on a DJ too. <laughs> Danielle, you better be there. Get there. Oh, Rise, do whatever you gotta do. <laughs> All right. V, don't rub that shit in. <laughs> I'm getting a videographer, Danielle. What? I just hired him. Then your husband. I just, I, my, my video guy, I found him. He's got somebody coming. Yes. One of them. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much fun. If you, if you guys can make it to Detroit, you know, we don't, we're sold out, but we'll make room for you guys. <laughs> like, it's gonna be off the hook. So it's, going, it's going to be amazing. We'll pack them in. We'll pack them in like sardines. We'll just send people out and bring more people in. Just like yeah, the, get the we're kicking you out. Right. Time for the new people. Yeah, you know, time to bring in the new. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's so awesome. That's so awesome. <laughs> Are you cursing, Danielle? Son of a bitch! <laughs> Maybe you know that. <laughs> Don't count me out because now I'm like limo, limo. videographer, photographer, photographer. I got a photo. Are you freaking kidding me? And I'm working on a DJ. <laughs> and I'll sing for you. No, I won't. I don't know how the hell we had 104 people on, Melissa, but I think we just had a record participant. Woo! Uh, let go! Woo! I'm going to like remind everybody 30 minutes beforehand from now on because yeah for awesome. sure last week i think we had like 50 people on so nice. the fact that we had 104 which i don't even know how that's possible because i have a hundred limit on my zoom yeah that's so, what i thought too right apparently they gave us an upgrade or something <laughs> because uh, we're such awesome customers than i used to <laughs> so that's fun that's awesome <laughs> Um, and another thing, like a couple of people were asking about Evernote, Melissa, like what is Evernote and where do you get oh, it? Oh, yeah. Um, um, you can just Google it. Um, I always say this and I always hear her. I always hear Priscilla say Google is your friend. And I always say it too. Um, Google is such your friend. Um, Google Evernote. <laughs> I just Google everything, dude. Google Evernote and you'll find it. Um, it's an app. I have it actually on my laptop too. I have it, um, some people I think have it on their phone. I use it mostly on my laptop because I use that for What's that? 
um, nothing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, what? But yeah, just, just, yeah, there you go. Mike just posted it in the chat. Um, ever, go figure it's evernote.com. <laughs> so, um, there it is. <laughs> Leanne, are you there? Unmute yourself. Leanne? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I will fit you in. If you're coming to Detroit this weekend, I will fit you in, girlfriend. Oh, my God. I got to talk chat into this. This sounds <laughs> so fucking awesome. It's not far. It's not far. And we I know. You know, he was supposed to go there tomorrow to a baseball game, and uh, his – ex-wife to be's lawyer backed out on a meeting he could have been there today he's so pissed off <laughs> but uh but i want to i know that was way too much information but <laughs> um but yeah i would i told him a while ago i said i want to go to that event i want to go so i i it's my it's my mission okay let's do it we'll get you in we will get right. you in, I promise you. If you get you there, tell we'll get Chad you. that I said it has to happen. Okay. I will I will tell him for sure. Sherry's gonna, yeah, Sherry's gonna lose her shit. Just tell yeah. me. Yeah, we don't want Sherry to lose her shit. We no, drive that's six scary. Hours. We drive six hours for <laughs> I know. He we, cannot make an excuse. We don't know how you do it. We don't know how you do it. <laughs> Sherry. Oh, Walter. <laughs> Amy, Amy, oh my gosh, Amy Davidson, I'm so excited to meet you. I cannot wait. Like, I probably won't recognize you, so please come up to me and, like, give me a hug and introduce yourself. Please, because I will not, like, I'm, I'm so, like, I don't recognize anybody, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> all right, was there questions? Questions for Melissa at all? Someone knows how to type really fast. Oh my God. Sherry? Yeah. Okay, so he's not allowed in my office. Why? You see? What? Oh, there's Walter! Walter! <laughs> <laughs> He oh my God, what like kind of dog is he? A very special moment. Oh my gosh, Walter. <laughs> what kind of dog is Walter? Isn't he, isn't he like a Portuguese water hound or something? He's an English setter. Oh, I okay. love English setters. <laughs> <laughs> They're beautiful. He is hysterical. He's 11 months old. I know that. Danielle's close. <laughs> and he's not very bright, but he's certainly <laughs> lovable. <laughs> And he's naughty. He's naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> he is, and he's not very bright. He's just a big friggin' dope. But anyways, he says hi to wine warriors. Goodbye, Walter. <laughs> but yeah, so that was his debut. It's another one that's sort of similar. Kind of like an Evernote or something? It's sort of, um, I kind of liked OneNote better as like a, I used to use it on my phone and I used it as like a, like a grocery list type thing. Um, so it's, it's another list type, you know, like a scratch pad type thing. So. Yeah, I love Evernote. I use Evernote, everything like, you know, if people ask me for certain scripts, I send them Evernote. You know, I just go to my Evernote, copy, paste, done. Um, it's awesome. Um, and you guys, if you don't know, like a lot of people struggle with organization skills and trying to keep up with like who you've talked to and, um, you know, who like you need to follow up with and that type of thing. If you don't have teams and I really haven't been using Teensy, which I really need to probably start because it would really help me because I struggle in this area. But Teamsy.com, um, we actually have, uh, it's like a contact uh, management like system who, like you can actually input all of your contacts to Teamsy 
um, and, and they can actually, you know, it will keep you on track as to who you need to follow up with next, so nobody falls through the cracks, that type of thing. Um, TeamZ.com, Eric Johnson created TeamZ, and he actually created a TeamZ um, that um, is just for direct sellers. So every all the lingo is for direct sellers, and you know it's it's super helpful if you guys struggle with time you know time management organization trying to keep track to your follow ups that type of thing. It is uh, like twenty bucks a month or something. I don't even know like twenty bucks a month, but it is super helpful. And I know lots of people on this team use Team Z um, for like organization type stuff. So. Highly recommended. Um, I haven't really started using it yet, but I probably should start. <laughs> I'm just old fashioned pen and paper yet, and I just can't seem to get away from uh, away from that. But um, a lot of people find it super helpful. So yeah, Streak's another good one. Streak is for Gmail. If you have a Gmail account, um, you can actually add all of your people to like an email um an email system um uh let's see danielle it's no different it's just you, you none of your contacts are gonna come over from the old company to this one you just have to start over no different um they just have different language uh for you know obviously we're called you know we're not called coaches. <laughs> Sorry to bring that up, but we're called, you know, I think, I don't even know what they call us, distributors or reps, distributors, representatives. I don't even know what they call us in there, but we're not um, called that anymore. Um, yes, we are called rock stars and we're called, we're called people that like to make money. <laughs> That's what we're called. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. We're called warriors. Yeah, why couldn't they have called us just warriors? That would have been great. Nancy says Team Z will convert your contacts to the DC system. That's interesting. Um, so it's definitely something to look into, you guys. If you are struggling with organization and trying to keep your contacts straight, just go to TeamZ.com, look at it, and there's a 30 day free trial by the way, if to check it out. Um, if you don't like it, you can cancel it. So you won't be out any money if you don't like it, um, but it really helps with organization and time management. Um, you can get your power hour done in like literally a half hour. You can be done. And Mike Devlin just, po just posted the trial link, so. Trey, are you doing the Saturday training call? Unmute yourself. I am. What? Oh, awesome. <laughs> okay, you guys, the Saturday DC corporate call, Trey is doing the training call for that. So get, oh, the, shit. get I on that. it. I, <laughs> that is so awesome. No shit. No shit. <laughs> no shit. That's awesome. I didn't have any idea. So get on that Saturday training call, 12 o'clock noon. Let's make it a packed call. Let's make it some kind of a record so we can hear Trey talk and blow corporate's minds. Yes, pencil it into your agenda. And whoever is doing the um, getting started right call this week, I'm not sure who is. Maybe it's me. It might be me. But I'll look. <laughs> I'll make sure to, to direct them to the Saturday training call so they can hear Trey talk. <laughs> Any other questions? If not, we'll end it and call it a night. See you next week. Wine tasting. Wait. Okay, we have a wine tasting on June 17th in Indiana. If anybody lives in Indiana. Kyle says, don't let Trey lose his shit. Get on it. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, thank you guys. Thank you so much, Melissa, for sharing your 
awesome advice and nuggets about time management and organization. And uh, I will see you Saturday. I'm so excited. And yes. we're going to have an awesome time. And Danielle, thank you for chiming in. And thank you for showing us Walter. And get to Detroit, girlfriend, because it's going to be off the hook. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. Night. And Leanne, you better get there, too. Hell yeah. Tell Chad. I said so. <laughs> good night, guys.